Hello and welcome! My name is John and this is the Armstrong Fitness Academy. Today's workout is going to be a kettlebell and bodyweight style workout. It's going to be 26 minutes long and there is no warm up at the start of the workout. So if you need to warm up, get one done and crack on with the workout. Grab your kettlebell, grab some water, let's get going. All right, let's get cracking. So remember, you just need your kettlebell, semi-heavy kettlebell, okay? Um, so it's gonna be three rounds, eight different movements. Uh, we'll do 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest on each movement, okay? So I'll set the timer and then we're gonna crack on. Oh, not that one. Wrong one, my bad. Where's my timer, where's my timer? Not very prepared. There we go. Right, so 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, eight rounds. Bob's your uncle. Let's go for it. Right, grab your kettlebell. So the first movement we're gonna do is a hand clean to a squat. Okay, so this is your starting position. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the kettlebell high, quick hands, catch, squat down nice and deep, stand back up. Back to my waist, back to start. Bang! So remember when we're doing with squatting, keep the kettlebell high, keep the chest up, feet are about shoulder width apart, your feet are nice and flat, don't tip on your tippy toes, drive the knees out, keep your chest up at the bottom, sit back in to the squat, brace your core, high pull, quick hands, squat low, and back up. Three, two, one, and rest. There. Good start. Keep on sipping water throughout. So remember, it's only 20 seconds work in between each movement. Next movement is the stiff leg deadlift or the hip hinge. So bend down, pick it up. Feet a little bit more narrow than shoulder width. Chest up, slight bend in the knees. Start pulling yourself down towards the floor and really pushing your hips back. Imagine trying to touch the wall behind you with your bum. So it's all about that hinge from the hips. Okay, and keep a nice straight back all the time. Soft knees and look for that stretch on the backs of the legs, okay? Don't collapse at the bottom, okay? Don't see you rounding. Nice straight back. Actively pushing your hips back all the time and relax. Assuming it's hard to get that one, okay? It's all about practicing hinging from the hips. Practice makes perfect. Okay, we're going to do a single arm press this time. Some of the movements do progress as the workout goes on. Up top, that single arm, so that's my right side first, pressing directly above my head. Okay, if the kettle's too heavy for a single arm, bang, turn it to a push press. Okay, gonna change over in three, two, one, change arms, other side. So you can't press the kettlebell with one arm, use two hands, okay, double press. 10 seconds, back into the body, directly above the head. Slightly behind the head, the final position, slightly behind my head. Back in, back down, 20 seconds rest. Three movements done. On the fourth movement, which is a bodyweight movement, there's a get up. Just a get. A sit up, stand up, jump up. Okay. Whoa. Swing around here. Hands above the head. Use your hands to get up. Stand up and jump up. You don't have to jump up if you don't want to. Use those arms, bang, for momentum. Driving up onto your feet and into the air. You can make this harder by adding a tuck jump. Just make sure. Don't do it if it hurts your knees or your ankles. Oh, 
relax. Can I go louder? Yeah, a little bit. Right, back onto the kettlebell. So we're going to be doing alternating back lunges, holding the kettlebell in the front rack position. Up top, keep it high. So I'm going to take a step backwards. Take a step backwards, change legs. So things to remember, the front leg, the foot of the front leg remains nice and flat. And my knee stays over my toes, doesn't collapse inwards. Okay, do not let your knee collapse inwards. So when I do it, I tip slightly forwards. Let's try, try to get more weight over the front leg. So I don't want to be leaning back. Ever so forwards. Ever so slightly forwards. And relax. Oh, it's fast paced. Side hold. Nice controlled movement now. So you can work your core. 20 seconds. Each side. Right side first. Pick it up. Face push. Shoulders back. Kettlebell slightly off the leg. So I'm not leaning on my leg. Other arm out to the side. Chest up, chin up. Brace the core. So with this, you're not letting the kettlebell pull you out of position. You're fighting the weight. Kitchen sides. There we go. Bring yourself to remember the kettlebell's gonna wanna make you do that. Pull you to the ground. Don't let it. That's it. So it's this side, the opposite side, which is gonna be working. Shoulders back. Relax. Keep the kettlebell close. I'm thirsty there. So we're gonna do another squat variation. It's gonna be a squat with the bicep curl at the bottom. If the kettlebell's too heavy for the bicep curl, you'll just take the bicep curl out and keep on doing the squat. Pick it up top, keep it high, set the hips back, keep the chest up, bend the legs, knees out. From there, straighten the arms, the curl, and then drive back up. So down, knees out, feet flat, dig the elbows into the side, insides, the legs, and then drive up from the bottom. Halfway. So if you can't do that bicep curl at the bottom, don't worry about it. Just do a front squat. That's fine. 10 seconds. Keep that chest up all the time. Brace the core. Relax. Cool, cool, cool. Last movement at the end of round one. It's going to be a burpee. So we're going to do an easier variation of burpee. So you can do kickbacks, not just the floor. Now too jazzy to start with, you ready? So try to keep pace with me, we'll go faster. Let's go for it, so hands down, kick back, up, and a little jump if you want. So when you kick your legs back, keep the shoulders over the hands, and brace your core. So you're going into that solid high plank position. To make it easier, you get a step. Put your hands on the step when you do the burpees so that you don't go as low up the floor. And relax there, 20 seconds. End of round one. Oh, you doggy. Right, so on to round two. Same eight exercises, a couple of changes with a couple of the exercises. Uh, same timings, all right. Stop in 10 seconds. Remember the first movement, hang clean to a squat. Pick it up. So your feet out, shoulder width, chest up, elbows high, fast hands, genos, and down and back up. So find a nice sweet spot with the feet, which is comfortable for you. Everybody's squat position is a little bit different. Remember, keep driving the knees out, keep the feet flat, tensing your core, keep your chest up, and drive those feet through.
through the floor. So from there, we drive up, goes high, and relax there. Good, stiff leg deadlift, or hip hinge, whatever you want to call it. Just remember, it's all about stretching the backs of the legs, okay? Straight back to pick it up, a little bit more narrow than your squat position, chest up, shoulders back. Brace the core, soft knees, pull yourself down, keep the kettlebell close. And back up. So hinge from the hips, pushing the bum back, keeping the chest up. So when I'm, I'm right over facing the floor so that my chest is still up, haven't collapsed. Shoulders haven't collapsed inwards. Keep the kettlebell close all the time. Looking for the stretch on the hamstrings, okay? There we go. Last few seconds. Pull yourself down. Drive yourself up. Relax. Okay, so remember, I should have started the first round. With the overhead pressing, we can't. If the kettle is too heavy for single arm pressing, two hands straight above the head. Alright. I'm going to do single straight away. 20 seconds each side. Alright, here we go. I'm going to strip press it for a couple and then I'm going to over it. I'm going to push press it. So when you're pressing, arm locked out, kettlebell slightly behind the head. Okay, so you're not pushing out in front or to the side. One more. Okay, change your arms over. In, up, drive, boom. So one. There we go. I'm going to do a little push press. Getting a little help from the legs. Full lockout. Keeping the kettlebell close all the time. Keeping it under control. One more. Get up. Nice. Relax there. Put, put him down to the side. Get ups. Just let me do it. Let me do it from you. Right, so it's a big sit up. Powerful sit up. Hands down by your side. Get up on your feet. And then a little jump up. <laughs> sit up, stand up, jump up. And get up. <laughs> Trying to keep my belly from hanging out. Halfway. You might have to do this any lopsided. Doesn't really matter. Just get up on your feet. And then get back down. And then get back up. 10 seconds. Oop. Uno mas. One more. There it is. Exercising my forward done. Okay, so back lunges. So I'm going to progress this a wee bit. So either front rack position, alternating. Okay, I've been in the first round. We can do it like me. Side loaded. Kettlebells on my right hand. So I'm going to take a step back with my left foot. Right hand, right leg's bent, driving up. So I'm just shifting the weight of that kettlebell to one side and working this front leg a wee bit more. One more, then change sides. Up, left hand, right leg moves back. Tap and drive. Brace your core. It's very challenging. It's hella hard. Last few. Go for two more. One. Two. Fantastic. Keep holding the kettlebell. Keep them close. Over here. Side hold. Come on. Let's have a breath. Hey, right, so I'm starting right hand, feet shoulder width, shoulders back, brace the core, go up there. Don't let the kettlebell pull you out of position. Fight it. We're switching halfway. Two, one, change over. Tense up, brace up. Solid platform. Solid core. Deep breaths. 
Last few seconds. Stay with it. There it is. Oh, relax. Not too much. Two movements left. I do the uh, squat with the bicep curl up on. If you can't do that, just do the squat. Okay? Cut the bar high. Alright, let's have it. Feet in a nice, nice width apart, chest up, down, sit back into the squat, dig those elbows into the side, the legs, and drive back up. So if your kettlebells hitting the floor, like that, you would be sitting a little bit too low, just bring your bum up a bit. Hold a bit more tension in your thighs. Let's keep those knees out, feet flat, chest up, tense the core, drive up. It's hard that. Yep. Last couple. Let's go for one more. Up. Drive. Nice work. Very good, very good. Okay, so last movement. The exercise number eight. So BP, you can either do it like we did in the first round, just kick back. Or you can progress like I'm gonna do now and add a controlled press up. Watch. Hands down, kick back, press up, your feet and jump. So, if you struggle with press ups, you can put your knees down, or if you struggle with the movement, just do kickbacks. Remember what I said, you can get like a step involved to make the, the movement easier. Because basically, You'll not be going as low at the floor. One more. Two press ups. One, two. There we go. 30 seconds rest, no, 20 seconds rest. 30, 20. Who knows? Let's go for 20. End of round two. On to round three. All right. On to round three. Same timings, 40 20 split. Again, there'll be a couple of uh, couple of changes. So, yeah, let's see. Let's mix it up. Mix it up a bit. Right, here we go. 10 seconds hand clean to a to a squat. So we should have the movements pretty much down now. Okay, chest up. High arms, high elbows even. Catch, squat nice and deep, drive back up, back to the start. Up, bah. down, over, go. Make sure the feet are driving through the floor. The knees are out, chest is up. Brace your core, that good stuff. Just go as deep as you can go. Or your legs will allow you on the squat. Okay, moving the last 10 seconds. My knees are crunchy. Let's go for one more. Up. Ah. Nice, relax. Stiff leg deadlift. I'm, uh, try to hit the um oh, my breath. Try to hit the hamstrings. Okay, so kettlebell up, a bit more narrow than normal than your, than your normal squat position. Chest up, shoulders back. Slight bend, keep the kettlebell close, go towards the floor, and back up. Keep actively pushing your hips back, okay? Again, make sure you're trying to hit the wall. Imagine you're trying to hit the wall behind you. Keep the chin tucked, and just look to hit those hamstrings. Might take you, you might not have done that before, Takes a bit of practice, but once you've got it, you know what to look for. One more. Drive up. Nice work. Okay, cool. Overhead pressing. Again, I'm gonna be doing single arm. If the kettlebell's too heavy, just switch it to two hands. Grab the bull by the horn, as they say. Nobody says that. Ready? Right, bang. Straight up. Kettlebell slightly behind my head. Drive up. So a strict press like this. 
it's probably the hardest press to do and make it a little bit easier get a little bit of legs involved one more than chin jobs lovely stuff halfway chin jobs and we're gone and away so a few try doing a few strict presses and then once it gets a bit tough let's get the legs involved one more get up relax over that okay cracking get ups remember if we make it a wee bit harder which I'll go this way add a tuck jump at the top if not just focus focus on getting up and down right ready oh, and away back down we go on top of the head big powerful sit up there we go game you don't have to add the jump just do that Movement is nice, powerful movement. Full throttle from the ground up. Let's go for it. We can get one more in, one more in. Yeah, finish it. Finish him. Nice work. Uh, back lunge. Okay, so remember, you've been having the front rack position, two hands alternating. Or you can split the time, do it single leg side, side loaded. Right hand, take a step back with the left leg. Nice and light on the toes at the back. So you can still grab it with two hands. Keep her keep nice and steady. Get the weight over that front leg though. And change again. Don't let that knee collapse inwards, keep them tracking toes, keep the front foot flat, you don't want to, you don't want to look like that either, okay, bring the hips back, drive through the quad, one more, ah. relax, side holding, oh, catches up on you this workout, Okay, so again, I'm going to split the times, yeah, let's go for it, 20 seconds on my right, 20 seconds on my left, good to go, brace up, don't let it pull you out of position, keep bracing the core, tense your bum, shoulders back, head up, chest up, okay, change your arms over, and we're off. Keep it rolling. There we go. It's hard work just bracing up like crazy. Driving the body's in a full tension. And relax. Obviously the heavier the harder on that, on that movement. Okay, squat with a bicep curl. Then we're going to do peas. Then we've got a two minute finisher after that. Can't remember if I said or not, but that's what's happening anyway. Right, get about up top, grab it, squeeze the elbows in, front rack position, and squat down nice and deep. Knees out, elbows into the inside of the legs. Curl it, drive up. Make sure from the bottom up, so from this position, you really brace your core and drive your feet through the floor, okay? The difficult squat. You've got to do the bicep curl. Don't do it. But that doesn't mean you can't do the squat. Last one. Yep. I guess I'll be after a few. Nice one, right? So, baby, one of three options. You kick back, you kick back with a controlled, controlled press up or a chest to floor. So I'm going to half it. First 20 seconds, I'm going to do the controlled press up. Okay, let's go for it. So when it gets to halfway, I'm going to go change to 
to chest to floor. If you know what a chest to floor burpee is, just crack on straight away. That's all for your chest to floor. All the way down, all the way up. Last one. Uh, 20 seconds. No, it's not. So we've got one minute rest from now. Get some water if you need it. Ignore him. Shut up. Right. So we've got a little, little finisher to do just to finish off the workout. So, it's two minutes long, or is it three minutes? We'll do three minutes. If you're going to do two, just do two. I'm going to try and push the boat and do three. Right, so, it's going to be 30 seconds from squat with the kettlebell. I'm going to put it down. I'll do 20 seconds jump lunges. If you can't do jump lunges, you'll just do alternating back lunges. And then you get 10 seconds rest. That's how the minute is made up. And we're going to do it three times. Three times! So you've got to listen in. For me, I'm going to use my stopwatch for this, okay? Alright. 30 seconds from squat. Stand by. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Alright, so... If it gets too much with the, uh, with the kettlebell, just drop it. Throw it out the window. And do that. Just sleep safe you put it down to the side and just do body weight. So another 10 seconds and the bell's going down and we do jump lunges. I'll probably start with back lunges. Three, two, one, cap out the side. So you're know, doing alternating back lunges, chest up, shoulders back, or jump. Okay. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Rest, 10 seconds. Oh, three minutes, that's gonna hurt. Grab your kettlebell, stand by. Three, two, one. Let's keep it going. So as I say, or as I said, if it gets too much <laughs> with the kettlebell, just put it down and crack on with body weight. 10 seconds. Oh, legs are gone. Three, two, one. Either back lunges or jump lunges. Chest up, back knee down. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, one minute left. See him again. Three, two, one. Let's go. I'm not good. But I'm putting the bell down to crack on with body weight. 10 seconds. Chest up, feet flat, knees out. Three, two, one. Back lunges or jump lunges. Ten seconds. Back one just to finish. Three, two, one. The legs are gone. Oh, that's it. Didn't worry about the dog. Oh. Right, kettlebell body weight workout done. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope we'll see you again soon.